is a 13 year old boy to the examination and then the relevant examination. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Dr. Juliet, I want to do this, I want to do this. Which class do you do? 10th class. Very good, very good. So I have noticed an obvious slurring of speech. Rather, I have noticed a dysarthria in this patient. Look at the gait. The gait is not normal. It is slightly ataxic. Now I want to further clarify this ataxia. Is that a straight line which I have given? You can see that the ataxia is now very clear. Is that? ऐसे टिप्स पे चल के दिखाएं, पाँव की उंगलियों पे चल के दिखाएं, आप, you can walk well on the tips, अब ऐसे heels पे चल के दिखाएं heels पे, you can walk well on the heels, शाबाश, अगर हम एक पाँव ऊपर करके ऊपर कर लें, अब दूसरा ऊपर कर लें, दूसरा नहीं होता, कोशिश करें शाबाश, हो गया है, ठीक, okay, अब एक पाँव पे जंप करके दिखाएं, very good, अब दूसरे पे जंप करक very good, Azhar. Azhar, now you are on the side of your head. I want to look at your face. I have seen the spine also. Now, Azhar, sit down on the ground. Sit down on the ground. Sit down on the ground. So, you are on the ground. The spine is normal. The ground is negative. And now, Azhar, sit down on the ground. So, since it's a I have noticed obvious coliform movements and ataxia. So I will proceed my case while keeping the differentials of ataxia and keeping the differentials of chorea in my mind. Azhar, let me go now here, Pakhre. Thank you. Is a milk plate sign is positive. Now I, I want to see the spoonie. Azhar, as a He has spoonie with the hands as well. अच्छा अजर दोनों हाथ ऐसे ऊपर लेके जाएं प्रोडक्टर साइन इज़ नॉट देयर क्योंकि इस और ट्रीटमेंट जरूर नहीं के सारे साइन्स हैं अजर जवान बाहर निकालें वेरी गुड सो यू कैन सी ए कार्टिंग टाइम भी नहीं है क्योंकि इस और ट्रीटमेंट अजर नाम लिखें सी ही हैज़ डिफिकल्टी ओके बस ओके ही हैज़ डिफिकल्टी � now it is clear that he has chorea as well and he has ataxia as well. I have done the maneuvers of chorea and I have clarified the ataxia as well. Now, just to clarify whether this is, whether or not is it a cerebellar ataxia, I want to further some cerebellar signs. Azhar, this is what I can see. There is no distance of cocaine here. Azhar, one is there, one is there, one is there. No pass pointing, no nystagmus, and I want to see the rebound phenomena. So no re rebound phenomena. Okay. So there are no cerebellar signs. Now, since I have noticed that this arthria, ataxia, in Goria, so I have Wilson in my mind. So I want to see the eyes of this patient. I really think that examination should be done, but if there is a clear cut, uh, if there is a clear cut finding in the eyes, you can see the cover chair. What finding you expect in the eyes? Care finding. So the care things are present in the eyes. You can see with the torch. I will show you when I will finish this case. So now. Getting another evidence in the form of KF frames. I would like to see Batispinogeli, jaundice, and ascites in this patient. The later chain. Later chain. Ah. 
it means they don't have the liver manifestations of Wilson disease. Rather, he is having the neurological manifestations of Wilson disease in the form of chorea, ataxia, and KF rings, and dysarthria, and abnormal movements, and abnormal posture. So, since he is also having ataxia, so it's better to find out any telangiectasia on the skin or in the eyes. So I could not appreciate any telangiectasia on the skin or in the eyes. And also I look for the pascals, hammer toes, and also the apex feet to find the cardiomyopathy. But the apex feet is normal, there are no hammer toes and no pascalis. So I'm also not uh, thinking of phreatic ataxia in this patient. And also, I have ruled out acetyl decay in this patient. Now, let's talk about. Thank you, Azad. Oh, shukriya. I'm saying thank you and I'm covering the patient. Now, let's talk about the differential diagnosis in this patient. So, keeping my positive findings, I will take Wilson disease as the first differential. And since it's a short case, I don't know the history. So, I will put drug induced chorea or ataxia as my second differential. And what should be my third differential? Rheumatic. Okay. One is rheumatic, other rheumatic chorea or post infectious. Rheumatic chorea or post infectious chorea. Any other idea? Rheumatic chorea comes in slightly elder age group. He is a dolus and now, so we can keep rheumatic chorea as a third differential as well. So thank you so much.